What's up, guys? Pet Man here. Going to take a look at the big game this week. Mallow Creek uh, coming off the big win over Butler, taking on Burns out of uh, Duncan, South Carolina. Uh, Burns beat Mallow Creek last year in a uh, close game down there. Um, that kind of, you know, shook it up a little bit up here. When Mallow Creek loses, it, it's a uh, pretty big deal. So, it, you know Mallow Creek's got revenge on the mind. Um, some people were talking about maybe a letdown after this Butler game. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, this is their home opener. Uh, they don't have a lot of home games this year, so they're going to make the most of every opportunity ha they have at home. And this is a, another game against the uh, South Carolina school. So, you know, they're looking to make another statement, like the statement they made in beating um, Dillon down in Dillon uh, two weeks ago. Uh, taking a look at this game, Burns is young. Um, you know, we had a, a guy come by the site and tell us that uh, he's a Burns fan. That they're not going to start a senior on offense, which for a program like Burns, it's almost unheard of. But they're very talented, um, young at the same time. Uh, defense, they're also young. They're playing a lot of sophomores, a lot of juniors. Uh, they think they're going to be very good in the future. But right now, they're going through some growing pains. Uh, they lost to Myrtle Beach, which is a good team, not a great team, but a good team down in South Carolina week one. They rebounded after that. They defeated Greer 45-7. to uh, Looking at their stats, um, it wasn't a game where they put up a bunch of yardage. They got a couple of big interceptions. Looked like they were two pick sixes in that game. Uh, if not, they gave the offense a really good field position uh, to where they didn't have to put up a lot of numbers to drive and, and score points. Uh, traditionally, Burns is a spread passing team. Um, they got hurt. Um, they hurt Mallow Creek with um, a lot of passing um, last year. Uh, and, you know, we used to say that the secondary was the weakness of Mallow Creek. And, you know, we thought Butler would test that last week. And while they did put up some nice yardage, um, that secondary did step up and um, shut Butler down when the time, you know, came across for that to happen. Um, but I think your keys to victory for this game, uh, for Burns, um, <laughs> my number one thing is don't bring a banner with the message. Um, Mallard Creek really kind of got some motivation from a banner that was at the Butler game. Um, I think number two, uh, they got to figure out how to play that offense in a spread formation. Mallard Creek, uh, kind of spread the field a little bit against Butler. And, um, with, with Mallard Creek, you got to kind of pick your poison. And, um, you know, Butler didn't want to bring guys out the box to defend the spread look. They got hurt with the screen pass uh, numerous times as a result of that. And, um, you know, they went on down the field. So they're going to, Burns is going to have to make a decision on what they want to do or if they have the personnel to play both. Uh, number three, I think they got to find an edge to hang their hat on and play with emotion. Um, as a young team, sometimes you got, it takes a little time to find, you know, who you are. Uh, your your leaders, um, you know, everything like that. You know, they beat these guys last year, and, you know, a lot of leaders off of that team are gone. So, you know, you're coming up in North Carolina, and um, you got to find a way to uh, motivate yourself and get ready to play uh, an opponent that's very talented and um, is hungry to get revenge off of what you did to them last year. Uh, for Mallard Creek, um, first thing, revenge is on the mind from last season, obviously. Uh, this is a group that we've seen when they're motivated. They can probably beat almost anyone in the nation, and um, they play very well. So I have no doubt that Coach Palmieri is reminding them what happened last season when they played this team, and they're going to be ready to go. But they, they have to also play with swag and confidence and impose your will from the start. Um, when you're talented – you got to go out there and you got to let people know it uh, from jump. Now, that doesn't mean going out here and getting, you know, penalties and things that some of that was going on against Butler. You know, you got to you got to play with an edge, kind of like what I said with Burns. Um, total line, you know, I think someone mentioned in the forum playing to the echo of the whistle. That's something, you know, I used to preach with um, my linemen especially. Um, I, if Mallet Creek does those things, I see them pulling away you know, in this game. Um, someone asked about the offensive line or defensive line matchups. Um, we got some skill guys um, highlighted for Burns, but um, not too sure. Um, 
Well, most most of the time, Mallet Creek does have that advantage on both lines, and if Burns is going to have success, they're going to have to find a way to protect. Number one, and um, number two, they they've got to um, they can't be one dimensional. I mean, you got to find a way to run the football on these guys, and it's not going to be easy. Um, Mallet Creek has a lot of talent, especially on the defensive side of football, and you know, I I really I just have a feeling that. You know, Mallet Creek is really going to be an advantage here. We're talking about weather on Friday here in Charlotte, a lot of rain, a wind. And obviously, you know, that hurts Burns and that plays into the advantage of Mallet Creek. So that's another thing, you know, you got to deal with if you're Burns. So, um, expect a, um, I, I was expecting a good crowd. I don't know how the weather's going to aff- affect that. But if you do go out there, um, you know, enjoy it. It's a nice interstate matchup. Kudos to the coaches for scheduling it. And, um, you know, it's on my short list to be there. Uh, I don't know how much video I'll be able to get with the weather, but hopefully it holds off and um, we'll have a good time. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.